Hello all, welcome back to another session. So in the previous session we have seen the account determination uh, against to the asset class and asset class and GL account. Now in this session we will be seeing two important uh, important configurations uh, from the asset accounting side. So one is uh, asset uh, a registry. Uh, the previous uh, previous financial year we have to close and we need to open the new current financial year and from where uh, we are exactly posting starting the postings into asset accounting and the other thing is uh, the technical clearing account uh, so basically in s4 hana we have the technical clearing account concept uh, uh, with the help of this uh, gl account uh, the whenever you are posting the transaction asset transaction at the time same time only the reconciliation will happen in ecc uh, we used to do the reconciliation at the each month end uh, we will be doing the reconciliation now this is not required in the s4 hana system so we will see uh, first we will see the uh, the financial year uh, update then we'll uh, then we'll see the technical clearing account uh, how where to assign the technical clearing account and this thing and to update the financial year uh, asset registry uh, financial year of the asset registry we need to use a transaction code uh, f uh, once again the transaction code is yeah faa underscore cmp just hit enter and now the your chart just go to your chart of accounts uh, this is my company code so here go on edit mode 2000 is our company code now here uh, company code status just put it as a product queue and then uh, legacy data transfer okay and then click on create here and asset transfer date you just uh, consider the today's date as asset transfer date and asset transfer data status uh, Okay, in preparation and you can say here document type asset equation posting and then then uh, then click on this flag complete legacy transfer segment and then hit enter transfer date in preparation it's showing now we have to set it as a complete then click on save here setting for the company code to was saved successfully now come back here it's a product you complete legacy transfer okay is it not possible to complete the LTD segment status zero okay okay first click on ongoing and then yeah here we can see uh, first uh, we need to do the zero in preparation and then uh, we have to set it out uh, ongoing select the ongoing and then click on the flag symbol then system will uh, change it to completed okay once this is completed asset legacy transfer date transfer it means uh, from the previous system the legacy system to s4 hana system we need to transfer the master data as well as the uh, transaction data once that is completed then only we have to perform this activity okay once this is done here in this uh, company code level then click on uh, ledger here and then maintain here uh, the financial year the current financial year and then hit enter system will uh, create one entry here saying that the book depreciation in local currency closed physical year is 2023 and last day in calendar year of physical year is 31 12 2023 it will show like this and then click on save the settings has been already saved now okay and make sure you have uh, performed this activity once the asset basic configuration is completed and then the previous and the legacy data legacy data means whatever the erp system the you, you are using the legacy erp system the all the asset transaction data as well as the master data is uh, transferred to sap system then only we need to come into this screen and uh, set it as a productive and then legacy transfer data 
we have to uh, maintain the date when this task has been completed and then uh, then we have to select the legacy data transfer status is completed and document type uh, if you are using a specific document type custom document type you can update the custom document type as well and then click on save once this is done then come to this leading ledger here and then here update the current financial year and the physical year variant and then hit enter system will create one entry here saying that uh, this is your current year and this is your previous year the previous year has been closed with this entry and then save just simply and now the other important thing is the technical clearing account so first of all we will make sure the GL account is created or not so I'm accessing the transaction code FS00 here and then go to balance sheet so here uh, yeah so the technical clearing account is already created so this will be uh, always your balance sheet account and here it should be created as a reconciliation account asset here and create bank interest uh, you can take the field status group as c001 and uh, okay let me open one excel file here so uh, when you post uh, any asset acquisition posting in sap s4 hana you will see the accounting entry like uh, asset account debit and vendor account credit when you post the document you will be able to see this document uh, if you go inside of the asset accounting view then you will be able to see the uh, entry accounting entry like uh, asset account debit and technical clearing account credit And then uh, you will see technical technical account debit and uh, so if you uh, if you see the accounting document you will be able to see this accounting entry if you go to the asset accounting view so you will see this accounting entry like this is a reconciliation accounting entry like uh, we can say uh, we can say this is our valuation entry the asset account this is your valuation entry and this is your operational entry uh, because this is valuation entry why because uh, this is uh, in asset accounting level it will be evaluated uh, for this reason uh, it will be a valuation entry and this will be our operational entry because uh, the vendor account we have to make the payment to the vendor so that's why this is our operational entry we can call it as an operational entry so if i go to the here we have seen uh, the gl account is already created now we will see a way to assign the gl account go to spro and then click on uh, reference IFG and then click on financial accounting and then go to asset accounting here and then here integration with the general ledger accounting and then technical clearing account integrated with the asset acquisition and then here 
define technical clearing account for integrated asset acquisition just click on uh, execute here and then click on new entries here and then maintain your short of uh, depreciation sorry short of account again it's the short of account you need to enter the GL account okay and then click on save uh, technical clearing account not allowed in company code 2002 with a short of account uh, this is something warning message uh, to the other company code we can ignore Okay, uh, that's all in this session. Thank you so much.